wanna know why sodium chloride is written as NaCl or magnesium chloride written as MgCl2. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. By the way, I'm Teacher Brian and today we'll all together be learning how to write chemical formula for binary ionic compound with fixed charged metals. And if you want to make the most out of this video, I invite you to watch it from here until the end. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you're new and please ring that bell to get notifications if ever I'll upload new video. So what are we waiting for? Let's get this started. Before we go to the discussion, let me share first a simple but delicious snack that we can prepare at home. And we only need two ingredients to prepare this. We need eggs and bananas. Can you guess what snack can we prepare out of these two ingredients? Right, pancakes! Recipes for pancakes vary but they typically have a ratio of two eggs is to one banana. For example, if you wanted to prepare one serving of pancake, you could mix together the two eggs and one banana. And if you wanted more servings, you can just add more eggs and more bananas. Chemical compounds also have ingredients in a certain ratio. However, unlike pancakes, Chemical compounds always have exactly the same ratio of elements, and this ratio can be represented by a chemical formula. Now let us define what is chemical formula. Chemical formula is a set of symbols showing the elements present in a compound and their relative proportions. Let us take the chemical formula of water as an example. H2O. This formula means that each molecule of water contains two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. And that gives off the formula of water H2O. The subscript 2 shows that there are two atoms of hydrogen in the molecule. And the O for oxygen has no subscript. No subscript element in a formula means there is only one atom present. In this video, we will only be writing chemical formula for binary ionic compounds with metal that forms only one type of cation, or these are the metals with a fixed charge. The metals that form only one type of cation are found in group 1, group 2 of the periodic table, and also these metals. In group 1, metals that is from lithium down to precious all have a one plus charge. And in group 2, metals that is from beryllium down to radium all have a two plus charge. And these metals here have their corresponding charges on top of them, 3+, plus, 2+, plus, and 1+. Plus. You can also see here the non-metal anion that is usually paired with our metal cation and their corresponding charges, 3-, minus, 2-, minus, 1-. Minus. Let us start writing the chemical formula for binary ionic compound with this example. Rubidium bromide. To correctly write the formula of this compound, we need to follow the following steps. Step 1, 2, and 3. In step 1, what we only need to do is identify the cation and the anion. And since this is an ionic compound, and in ionic compound, the cation is named first before the anion. So, Rubidium is our cation, and bromide, or that is bromine, is our anion. Rubidium has a chemical symbol of RB, and it has a one plus charge. 
and the chemical symbol of bromine is Br has a one minus charge that is Rb plus and Br minus and we're done with step one let's move on to step two step two we have to apply the crisscross method in applying this method the numerical value of the charge of the cut iron become the subscript of the anion so the numerical value of the charge of the rhodium is 1 and this one becomes the subscript of our anion and the numerical value of the charge of the anion becomes the subscript of the cation the numerical value of the charge of the anion is 1 and this one becomes the subscript of our cation combining the ions together we get rb1 br1 and now let's proceed to step 3 we have to make sure that the subscripts are in smallest whole number ratio looking into the subscripts 1 and 1 are already in the smallest whole number ratio but in writing chemical formula if there's only one atom present we don't necessarily write the subscript one so we have to omit the one and also this one so the correct formula for repeating bromide is right it's rbbr now this formula means that to produce a molecule of rubidium bromide, we're gonna need one atom of rubidium and one atom of bromine. You have to take note that if the charges of the cation and the anion are equal in magnitude, we will combine the ions in a one is to one ratio, just like this example. You have a 1 plus charge and 1 minus charge combine the ions together in a 1 is to 1 ratio 1 atom of rubidium and 1 atom of bromine that if the charges again of the ions are equal in magnitude let us have another example Potassium sulfide. Again, to correctly write the formula of this compound, we have to follow these three steps. First step is identify the cation and the anion. Potassium is our cation, and sulfide or sulfur is our anion. And the chemical symbol of potassium is, right, it's K. And K or potassium belongs to group 1 of the pretty table, so it has a 1 plus charge. And sulfur has a chemical symbol of S and has a 2 minus charge. That is K plus and S2 minus. Next step is we have to apply the crisscross method. Again, in crisscross method, the numerical value of the charge of the cation becomes the subscript of the anion, and the numerical value of the charge of the anion becomes the subscript of the cation. That is, the 1 becomes the subscript of the anion, and the 2 becomes the subscript of our cation so we'll get k2s1 now in step 3 we have to make sure that the subscripts are in smallest whole number ratio looking into the subscript 2 and 1 are already the smallest whole number ratio in writing chemical formula we have to omit the one subscript. So, the correct formula for potassium sulfide is right, it's K2S. This means that a molecule of potassium sulfide is composed of two 
atoms of potassium and one atom of sulfur. Let us have our last example, magnesium nitride. Now, to correctly write the formula of this compound, still, we have to follow these three steps. Step 1, we have to identify the cation and the anion. And magnesium is our cation and nitride, or this is nitrogen, is our anion. The chemical symbol of magnesium is Mg, and Mg belongs to group 2 of the periodic table, so it has a 2 plus charge. And the uh, chemical formula for nitride or nitrogen is N, and it has a 3 minus charge. That is Mg2 plus and N3 minus. We're done with step 1, and let's proceed to step 2. In step 2, again, we have to apply the crisscross method. In crisscross method, the numerical value of the charge of the cation becomes the subscript of the anion, which means these two will become the subscript of our anion, and this three becomes the subscript of our cation. Combining the ions together, we get Mg3N2. And we're ready for step 3. In step 3, we have to make sure that the subscripts are in smallest all number ratio. And looking into the subscripts 3 and 2, we cannot anymore simplify the subscripts, which means that these two are already the smallest all number ratio. So then, the chemical formula for magnesium nitride is right. Mg3N2. This means that to produce a molecule of magnesium nitride, we need three atoms of magnesium and two atoms of nitrogen. Let us check your understanding. And let us start with this one. Strontium oxide. Just in case you don't have predictable with you, I have the charges given. So which of the following is the correct formula for strontium oxide? Right, it's SRO. Since the charges are in equal magnitude so you will combine the ions in a one is to one ratio let us have the next one given the charges of the ions what do you think is the correct formula of this compound right it's CE2S. Let's have another one. Given the charges of this ionic compound, which one do you think is the correct formula for calcium phosphide? Very good. It's CA3P2. Let's have another one. Sodium oxide. Which of the following do you think is the correct formula of this compound? And if your answer is Na2O, you got it. And let's have the last one. Calcium iodide. Which one do you think is the correct formula of this compound? And if you answered CAI2, well, congratulations! Three.